Level 3 programming is designed for use by PITCO authorized technicians only. In this section, we will discuss offsetting the temperature display, melt cycle on times, minimum on and off cycle times, recovery times, diagnostics menu, ready levels, and temperature operating range. To enter programming level 3 with no timers running and a display reading ready, heating, or melt, press the program button. If password is displayed, please review the password settings in level 1 programming menu. Once a correct password has been entered or the display shows program, press 6685 to enter into the service menu. Pressing key number 1 will allow you to change the offset temperatures. This adjustment allows the displayed temperature value to be offset in which to reflect the true center of the vat temperature while reading the probe tip temperature. Default value is 0. With 0 value set, displayed values are of the probe temperature. To change this value, simply press the proper numeric keys to the amount of temperature you wish to have as an offset. Adjustments can be made up to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Once set correctly, press the program key. You can now toggle between a negative or a positive temperature offset by pressing the zero key. Once set correctly, press the program key to save and return to the service menu. With the display reading service, press key number two. The display will then read melt on followed by a numeric time. The set time is the amount of time the burners are fired for each pulse of heat during the melt cycle. Each pulse is 30 seconds in total. In this example, the burners would fire for 8 seconds and would remain off for 22 seconds until the exit melt cycle requirements are satisfied. You can only change the melt cycle on time for the liquid melt cycle. Solid melt cycle times cannot be changed. Once set correctly, press the program key to save and return to the service menu. Pressing key number 3 in the service menu will allow you to make adjustments to the minimum on and off cycle times. The display will now read minimum on followed by a numeric time. This time is the minimum time that the burner can be fired. Pressing the clock key will toggle the display to the minimum off time in which can be changed in the same manner. Once set correctly, press the program key to save. With the display again reading service, press the number 4 key. This is another way to view a recovery test of the appliance. To learn more about the recovery test, review programming level 2. Once set correctly, press the program key to save. With the display reading service, press key number 5 to enter the diagnostics menu. This menu is explained in greater detail in the diagnostics chapter. Press the program key to return to the service menu. With the display again reading service, press key number 6. The display will now read ready and a numeric temperature value. Factory default for this value is 20 degrees. In normal operation, this example would mean the display would change from heating to ready once the oil temperature got within 20 degrees below the set temperature. Once set correctly, Press the program key to save and return to the service menu. With the display at service, press key number 7. This display shows the temperature range in which the controller can be set for. There are no adjustments available on this setting and is only for informational purposes. To return to the service menu, press the program button. With the display reading service, press key number 8. The display will change to more service and the illuminated lights above each key will change. We will review this menu in more detail when we review the more service menu in this training. With the display reading service, press key number 9. This display will allow you to change the number of lift basket outputs. L basket 2 means the controller will activate both outputs to the left and the right lift baskets. L basket 0 means there will be no outputs to either the left or the right lift basket, and L basket 1 will default the only output to the left side basket only. 
Once set correctly, press the program key to save and return to the service menu. This concludes the review of level 3 programming for the service technician. To return to normal operation, repeatedly press the program button until the display reads ready, heating, or melt. The diagnostic menu is used to determine the functionality of controller outputs and inputs. By exercising each output and examining inputs, a determination can be made if an appliance problem is controller related. In the diagnostic menu, product keys are assigned specific inputs or outputs. All outputs in the on state should produce 22 volts DC at the appropriate pins on the controller connector. Controller inputs can be verified by the on or off state of the indicator above the product key. This section will detail the process of checking each input and output. Refer to level 3 training module on how to enter the service menu. Once display reads service, press key number 5 to enter the diagnostics menu. With the display reading diagnostic, press the product key number 1 to toggle the left basket lift output on. Display will show L basket and indicator light above key number 1 should illuminate. Pressing key 1 again should cause the light to go out. Repeat with key number 2 for the right basket. To test the drain switch input, press the product key number 5. The display will show state of the drain valve input by displaying either drain on or drain off. Product key number 5 indicator also will show in an on or off state to show you the value of the input. Pressing product key number 4 will toggle the side on output on. The display will show side on and or transfer depending on if you have the I-12 controller or the I-12 plus controller. Pressing and holding key number 3 will force the heat demand on output. Display should read heat demand and the heat light should illuminate. Releasing key number 3 will turn this output to the off state. The indicator light above key number 7 is the 24 volt heat feedback indicator. This light shows the on or off state of this input. Pressing key number 6 will perform a lamp test. All display indicators will be forced on to reveal any non-functional indicators or displays. Key number 8 toggles between using the right and or the left vat on a dual vat fryer for the diagnostics test. This concludes the diagnostic test. Press the program key to return to the service menu. More service menu. In this section we'll review the following. Instant on, cook now, turbo selection, heat demand profile, shake alarm duration, hold alarm duration, cancel duration, configuration value, factory reset, standing pilot, and a network address. For the purposes of this video, we will be reviewing the more service menu from the standard I-12 controller. Some key number selections may change if you have the I-12 Plus controller. However, the manner in which you set or make changes to any of the key selections is the same. To enter the more service menu, with the display reading ready, melt, or heating, press the program key. Enter the 6685 passcode and press key number 8. The display should now read more service. With the display reading more service, press key number 1. The display will now read now on and cook now. Press the 0 key to toggle between on and off. Factory default for this setting is on. When set to on, the operator can start a second timer prior to acknowledging and clearing a current cook down alarm. When set to off, the operator must first acknowledge and clear a current cook down alarm prior to starting another timer. Once set correctly, press the program key to return to the more service menu. With the display reading more service, press key number 2. Display should now read turbo off. This setting is for Pitco's turbo fry appliance. It should remain in the off setting for all other applications. Toggle between on and off with the zero key, 
Once set correctly, press the program button to return to the More Service menu. Pressing key number 3 will allow you to change the heat demand profile for the controller. There are five settings for the heat demand. First is Generic 1. This is for gas-fired appliances and is also the factory default. Second is Generic 2 for electric units as well as model SGH50. Third setting is T-STAT, which allows the controller to operate as a mechanical thermostat for general purpose applications on gas and or electric fryers. This setting offers the quickest possible recovery times, however, it is at the expense of temperature overshoot suppression. Fourth is the high efficiency RPB, which is for use on the high efficiency RPB models only. The fifth setting is HE Advanced for the use with the high efficiency advanced models only. Use the zero key to toggle this setting. Once the setting is correct, press the program key to return to the more service menu. Key number four is the shake alarm duration. This is the amount of time in seconds that the shake alarm will sound. Use the product keys to enter a numeric setting and press the program key to save and return to the more service menu. Key number five is for hold time duration. This is the amount of time in seconds the hold time alarm will sound. Use the product keys to enter a numeric setting and press the program key to save and return to the more service menu. Key number six is the cancel duration. This is the amount of time in seconds the operator must hold the product timer key in order to cancel a cook timer. Use the product keys to enter a numeric setting and press the program key to save and return to the more service menu. Key number seven is a hexadecimal checksum of the program contained in the controller. Please do not make any changes to this program setting. Press the program key to return to the more service menu. Key number eight is a factory reset. Factory reset provides a quick way to erase all setup changes and restore controls to factory settings. Any settings made prior to factory reset will be lost. This includes customer specific downloads performed at Pitco. After a few moments of pressing key number 8, the display will show P. Once the display shows P, press Program and you will be returned to the More Service menu. Key number 9 is for the standing pilot. For some applications, it is desirable to maintain the pilot flame in the appliance when it is off. Heat from the pilot keeps solid shortening in the liquid state for quicker warm-ups in the mornings. Default setting for standing pilot is off. If you wish to utilize the standing pilot, your heat demand profile must be set to either Generic 1 or T-STAT. Press the zero key to toggle the standing pilot on or off. Standing pilot zero is off, standing pilot one is on. Once set correctly, press the program key to return to the more service menu. This concludes the programming for the more service menu. To return to normal operation, press the program button repeatedly until the display reads either ready, heating, or melt.